It is the 16th of February 2021 and yeah, there's this potential tropical cyclone threat here, potential tropical depression, I should say, uh, across the southern half of the Philippines as we go ahead through this week. Area is located just towards the east of Palau at this time, but I would not be surprised. Pagasa does name this altering, uh, could even get a name by JMA if it does strengthen enough, but the big issue, regardless of its name, regardless of its intensity, it is going to be the heavy rainfall this is going to produce across the Philippines. So let's talk about what's going on out here because you take a look at the overall weather map. This is Japan back here towards the north and there is a potent storm system impacting Japan at this time, actually across Hokkaido. Uh, they're looking at even tropical storm strength equivalent type winds out there. And then you got this cold front attached to it. And the thing is behind this, there's this big burst of cooler air flowing in out of Eastern China. And that is going to really ramp up the pressure gradient north of this low. So you have that tail end of the cold front. We're going to be looking at gusty winds, dropping temperatures across Luzon and breezy conditions all from eastern areas of Luzon, from uh, Apari in the north, all the way down to Taklobound there in Visayas. You're going to be looking at those gusty winds, but it's all about the rainfall further towards the south as that transports off here towards the west. So let's watch this. Here's our area of low pressure passing Palau, Kuror, right there the capital of Palau. We're going to move this off here towards the west as we go ahead into Thursday and Friday. And look at that gradient really increase and that rainfall really pick up the heaviest of the precept being in these areas. Take a look a little bit here on Thursday. There's that high pressure I'm talking about, that tight pressure gradient, cool northerly wind back towards north, a cold front here towards the east, and that persistent onshore flow coming in off the Philippine Sea. So I mentioned this over and over again, because this is the type of storm where if you ask me, what's the center line? What's the forecast track? The forecast track might actually be here further towards the south, um, uh, across Davao, in fact, but north of that, northeastern Mindanao, that's where we're going to be looking at that heaviest of that rainfall because of that gradient on the northern periphery of this. This is going to be one of those storms that's going to be lopsided really quite significantly on the right side of it. And you can just see here with the winds, there's that center of circulation. And uh, some of the max winds could actually be in northern areas of Asias and eastern areas of Luzon, thanks to that cool northerly uh, quote unquote cold surge pouring in from the north here. Another look heading into the weekend. So that was Thursday. This is by the weekend. The good news, unlike last week, if you're out here in Okinawa, that storm actually turned north and impacted Luzon because of that cold surge. I actually expect this to kind of stay buffered towards the south. So it's good news for Luzon. You're, you're going to be looking at relatively dry conditions compared to the system we've seen last week. The bad news is that that rain is going to stick around south of Manila. And in there really is going to be a pretty significant flooding threat here with over 500 millimeters possible in some of these areas, maybe more than that. So flooding, landslides, uh, all going to be a threat here, my friends. I really can't stress that enough. These areas and the darker colors indicating 500 millimeters plus uh, across eastern areas of Mindanao here back towards uh, Leyte and uh, Samar as well. I mean, that's just a, a significant amount of rainfall. Leyte had some serious flooding just last week. More rainfall on top of that, not going to be uh, optimal at all here. In this next five days, this rain will probably transport further west heading into the weekend. And uh, it's a very serious situation. Meanwhile, that cold surge also is going to be creating some very frigid conditions across uh, Luzon. Frigid for this area. Keep that in mind. Uh, if you are not from the Philippines, or maybe you're from Japan, the United States, Europe, and you're looking at this going 14, 10 degrees, that's nothing. That's a mild spring day. But here, remember, a lot of people don't have heaters, and a lot of people have open breezeways at the very least. Uh, 10 degrees can be a very, very frigid night. So this is actually a pretty serious situation across uh, Luzon just because of that northerly wind that's going to be spilling in. Check out Western Pacific weather on Facebook for some of these graphics. Lexter has been putting these together. Absolutely fantastic and very useful. Lots of information there. All right. So 
Let's talk about some of the main points. Well, yeah, tropical depression could be named R-ring very likely here. Uh, JMA, you know, if JMA is aggressive on this, they could name it. It really just depends on how it does develop. Floods in Mindanao in Visayas likely as well. And then that cold surge is going to be dropping those temperatures in the northern half of the Philippines. I also would be remiss if I didn't mention this the tall volcano advisory is in place from uh, Pagasa here because there's just been numerous tremors around that volcano the last few days. I wanted to mention that in the video. Uh, if you're near it, I'm sure you know all about it because the ground is literally shaking under you. So I don't need to, you don't need to find out in a YouTube video if you're elsewhere. Uh, pretty interesting. Plus on the other side of the world, uh, by the way, most of you know, I'm currently in the United States. I want to get back to that side of the world. I spent most of my career in Japan, but I wanted to mention this real quick. This is just absolutely insane. There is a winter storm warnings in place from Texas all the way out to Maine. This is incredible. So you're probably going to be hearing that on the, the international news um, agencies, national news out there. Just kind of give you a little heads up if you uh, know anybody in the United States. Absolutely incredible what's happening there with this major winter storm. One of the strongest in decades. Anyways, thank you very much for everybody who's watched us all the way through. Um, thank you very much who's subscribed and follows me on Patreon. If you want to help out there, that'd be fantastic. A uh, big thing you can help me out to is subscribe and hit that like button. I, I can't stress it enough. Um, uh, it, it's just one of those things. It helps out the algorithm and you get those notifications, especially when you want those timely updates when we're talking about typhoons. Follow me on these social media platforms. Follow me on Twitter. I always post some fun stuff there. Same with here on Facebook. If you don't follow me there, you are in the wrong. You need to follow me on Facebook. I always post some very useful information there as well. Stay safe out there. As always, though, thanks for watching.